Good afternoon, this is Anthony Lamel. Today I'll be speaking about Voltaire's Candide and its alignment with the Enlightenment time period. Um, Voltaire portrays a few themes in this uh, in this novel, uh, such as the importance of reason and rationale, um, the hypocrisy of the church uh, in the Enlightenment period, but also has an underlying theme about the weakness of women, which does not align with the Enlightenment time period. Um, on the topic of reason and rationale, Candide is a pupil to a philosopher named Pangloss, whose uh, primary notion is that the world is the best that it is, and every occurrence and event that comes without um, is must be the best, must be the best outcome. Uh, Candide, who has absorbed this, uh, goes throughout his journey of life in the pursuit of love uh, and encounters many misfortune and events and is ultimately succumbed to these. Um, he becomes a victim in many situations and ultimately realizes that reason and rationale trump uh, being radically optimistic and that being optimistic is cancerous uh, per se. Next comes Voltaire's issue with uh, the status of the church. Uh, clergy members throughout the novel are displayed as uh, hypocritical um, and, and unsuited uh, to their religion. Um, the Pope is even described uh, to having a wife and children and many riches. And uh, if you know anything about the Catholic religion, the Pope is to be celibate uh, and modest man. So using this, um, Voltaire uses the situation to show um, the hypocrisy of the church and Candide also, with interaction with other clergy members, uh, is treated very poorly, which is obviously not resemblant of the, the values of the Christian religion. Um, one contradictory theme that Voltaire has in this text is uh, his discrimination towards women and his belief that they are weak and fragile. Um, the women characters throughout this text uh, often are victimized in the form of rape, uh, murder, etc., and uh, in most circumstances, often are deemed to not be able to help themselves. This is a not in line with the alignment and shows uh, how Voltaire was not fully on board with all the values uh, in the time period. Um, I hope this provided a good understanding about Voltaire's Candide and some of the issues that were provided with, without uh, and his uh, status during the alignment. Thank you. Good afternoon, this is Anthony Lamel. Today I'll be speaking about Voltaire.